This is the exact same spot from the exact same pond where I made the last ecosphere. As mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to try to make the same ecosphere as last time, the only difference being that I will add plants and algae from my aquarium to this one. I'm just going to have to break through the ice here. So I can get some dirt and water. I try to get dirt and water the same way as I did for the other ecosphere. I'm going to let the water settle down for a day to see if I can already see some creatures in the jar. I made this ecosphere because I think it will be interesting to compare this one to the other one. This one is going to have plants which should help produce more oxygen and keep ammonia levels down. After two days the water hadn't settled down as much as I hoped for, but I could already see ostracods, copepods and some daphnia. I decided to use Felisneria for my aquarium to plant in the ecosphere because I already have experience growing Felisneria in cold water and I have a lot of Felisneria plants. I put a little less water in this jar because I knew I was going to put my hand in there and I thought I had the right amount of water. Clearly, I was wrong. I decided to pour some water in a glass to set aside for later so I wouldn't lose any organisms that may have been in there. After the plants were planted, I poured back the water. I probably should have used a spoon to pour the water on because now the water got all cloudy again. I poured some extra water in from my aquarium so there would be an equal amount of water in both ecospheres just for a more fair comparison. So now I was ready to seal off the ecosphere and label it. After two days the water has cleared up and the plants are looking nice. Felisneria like to have some roots exposed to the water so that's what I did. I may have overdone it a bit on this one, I just didn't plant it very well, but it should be fine. Both plants are looking green and healthy and already some ostracots have showed up. Plants have some algae on them, which is good because they will filter the water and be a nice source of food for a lot of organisms. I saw a few cyclops in the ecosphere, but I didn't see that many animals. I think more creatures will show up after some time has passed, that was the case with the previous ecosphere, so it will be interesting to see which animals will start to appear. I suddenly came across these little critters. They are very small and hard to see, because they are almost transparent and they seem to contract into a little ball when disturbed. After doing some research I am pretty sure these are Cartesian polypinum. This one seems to have been disturbed by a little ostracod. That's it for today. If you want to see more ecospheres and updates, well you're going to have to subscribe.